guys and welcome to a new episode on this channel. Today we will be talking about this book that I've been always wanting to read and I finally got to read the first book today. George's Secret Key to the Universe by one of my most favorite idolized people of all time, Lucy, which is the daughter of Stephen Hawking, and Stephen Hawking, who is said to be the most theoretical, the best theoretical scientist since Einstein. Well, at least it says there in this book. By the way, I I like Stephen Hawking a lot, and his death wasn't that long ago. And yeah, I was hoping to read this right before he died. He was pretty old, yeah. And Lucy Hawking, I want to say that she she did write this. She did write this book for her children, and Stephen Hawking did help write it, even though he he was he is a physicist, yeah. And I'm pretty sure that this might be one of the greatest treasures of all history. And it might be sci-fi, but however, it is also based on real facts. Even though it's kind of sci-fi. And then I can't wait to read the, ne the next book, George's Cosmic Treasure Hunt. Which, by the way, is just an intro. I'll be doing a Stephen Hawking Dark Shun episode later, throughout the, uh, later this year. And after I get enough information, that is. And yeah, let's get started on this book. We already wasted about two minutes already, so let's get started already. Now, George's secret key to the universe. There is no secret key to the universe, how? And if you want to do this in a theoretical way. I, first, I want to say one of my thoughts about secret keys. Well, first of all, secret keys do not exist in the universe. The only secret key we could use is physics or, you know, science. Everything we can use is right there in our subject. You might say science is boring or physics is boring. And even sometimes these books of science, science and, yes, that, science and, yeah, literally even physics might be even boring. And sometimes maths too, maths too. And geometry, all those basic kinds of maths, maths, yeah, all these. And, chem and yeah, even chemistry, they might even help us in a lot of ways. I'm having literally a lot of books right here. Yeah, yeah. Now, the, all these three subjects might, are the secret keys to the universe. There are more secret keys to the universe, but however, there are even more. But for now, let's focus on these three. Oh, it's getting heavy. Oh, that is better. Good. All right. The secret key of the universe is literally not everything, if you ask me. Secret keys are just physics and all that stuff. First of all, there was George Green Bay, who was like, who his whose family was like, meh, technology are the worst. They are should be banned in the society. They're like banning technology, banning technology, and literally everything like that. His family was part of it, and they were like the main idol characters of the protest marches of banning technology, banning technology. They're both vegetarians. Uh, they're both vegetarians, and George was like, George thought that he, well, he was like eating meat, and his parents were very, very anti-technologies. George has always wanted a present, which was a computer. Now, I do have computers already, that's where I watch YouTube, and sometimes I even go online with it. Sometimes I do play games with it sometimes, but still. Now, the parents of these guys were not literally everything. By the way, sometimes phones but be banned also. Or these phones. Phones might not be useful. Phones might be unuseful in some of its own ways. But however, if we find out as long as we can about these phones... Just a minute. No, I cannot show you my password. And these are all the apps of the, my phone. Well, mother's phone, if you ask me. There are loads of things you can do, uh, like getting stuff for a science fit. Wait, get. I, 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 yeah. Well, some of these things might be useful, like getting stuff for the science fair or even news. Like these are newses. Now, I'm very big fan of nightly newses. And sometimes, yeah, for entertainment, we can also do games, but have a not so good. And they can also be good for other stuff. A lot of people nowadays are doing modern technologies, like some of my great reading books, like great books or something. You can also search apps and also listen to audio. 
I'll go into this for you guys. Now that's where I literally listened to uh, Sick George's Secret Key to the Universe was. And they're like, hey, ban, ban this book. And I'm literally not anti to that. George also has a new neighbor who is called Annie, and they have an adventure through their lifetime. George, so like, George finds out that his teacher is evil, and he wanted Cosmos to be, he wanted Cosmos to be very, you know, uh, is very evil, and he wanted to use the supercomputer made by Eric, uh, a grown-up and a friend of George's, and the father of Annie, who says that this, who says this, that she. She is literally, she's literally, like, one thing to steal Cosmos and to go, to make him very rich. Then, then he finds out about this. Then he finds out a lot of things about these Cosmos. This is the teacher, by the way, who is trying to activate Cosmos. But he says, no, I can only do it for people who are members of the... Well, you know, members of like the, you know, Cosmos and also the Outsiders. And then Cosmos started to be broken, started. And then literally everything, and then literally they had to do this. They literally had everything to do with it. Cosmos was like literally a computer who can alive and he's like plug me plug me when he was like running out of batteries and he was like taking gulps of water like if he was very thirsty like this <laughs> like that literally and it's like he was drinking water for his survival he is drinking electricity kind of so yeah and he, the most amazing thing about Cosmos is that he can download books he can download straight from literal books. Put it into his book downloader and it'll literally download the information of it for you. That is so cool if you ask me. So cool. And you know what? You should literally do something on about cosmic adventures and everything. Yeah. And probably the George's ship on time might be about relativity and all that stuff. But still, I want to say that this might not have been the best idea. This might not have not been the best idea because, well, firstly, there is a lot of things to talk about. And secondly of all, we don't have a lot of time. We only have two minutes left. There is a lot of cosmos things I can do, and he was literally kidnapped. And then he literally can make, make some people come back from a black hole. Now, if you remember from Greeper, that they were very good friends. But then Greeper was like trying to make Cosmos together. Greeper is right here and like, oh, very sad. And then literally, he talks, says, and the boy, and first of all, there is one thing that happens here. I'll just go and make sure George, and then there's this one line that Reaper says. I'll just go and make sure George is up to speed with his speech. Reaper whispered back to the principal. You will not, spluttered the principal. You, and George will do perfectly without you. Try and show some interest, would you? You're letting the school down. The boy on the stage finishes speech on dinosaur remains. So that, he concludes brightly to his audience. That's how we know the dinosaurs first walked the earth 230 million years ago. Teachers dutifully, dutifully clap their hands, and literally everything literally happened here. I want to say that I want to say that this story might be a lot about Cosmos, and then how he says his speech, how his speech was literally very fantastic. It was like, yeah. Now you guys don't have to literally get a secret key to about the universe like how I did, but there is already a key for you. Physics, do it. You can do it. We need to find suitable habits for our Earth. If we can't, we might not be able to do stuff and survive. And that's where you come in. I want to ask a question before I end this video. And today's question is, what is your secret key to the universe? Write down your answers in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next episode. Shinhan out. Peace! And also stay up to date for the Stephen Hawking Dutch video. Bye!